and have a look at this majestic tray opening and closing. I think it is more a fault than a feature and, and the, the belt needs to be replaced because uh, sometimes it gets actually stuck. But that's, I suppose, is uh, uh, very little else wrong with it. Um, uh, let me just go to, say, track uh, number seven because that's it's due to be played. As you see, it plays instantaneously. This is the first SACD player that I've had here. I didn't have many, like 10, maybe a dozen. But they all made a lot of noise, a lot of um, track searching. They're always unsure. Was it a CD? Was it SACD? And, but this one's the first one that actually works the way a player should work like. You know, like a normal proper CD player of, of yesteryear. And not many modern ones, and I certainly call this a modern one, um, work that well. I mean, that's the first one I've seen. The only other fault with it is that it has a bit of corrosion there in the remote controller. But it still works fine. I'll just clean it up and it'll be like you. So what else about it? I think it's, 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 it's extremely well made. It starts with the R-Core transformer, which is well oversized. Um, as far as regulators are concerned, we've got 2, 4, 6, 10, 11, you know, 6 there, 4 there, that's 11th. I don't know what's underneath that logic board, probably more logic, but um, all the capacitors, the black ones, those ones there are, are Rubicons, these are Nihicons, these are the gold ones are Nihicon, fine gold, so the good components used throughout. High density board, you know, surface mount, which I'm not that great fan of, but uh, but it's all well executed. If you're op-amp rolling fan, well, you've already sockets there. And they're both brown, uh, I think 26 or 4 at the final thing. I have no idea what those capacitors are. Some fancy thing or, or, of some sort. Uh, well, I have to yet investigate it. Um, but it plays SACDs, it plays faulty discs, plays anything and plays them fast. Like if you want to, you know, change the track, it will just jump instantaneously. The same for SACDs, no hesitancy at all. And it, it looks good, and obviously, they didn't sort of skip on expensive parts. Probably that display is more expensive than some of the other players uh, put together. Uh, very clean design inside. It's heavy like hell. I mean, it must be about 15 kilos. I don't know where's the weight because it doesn't seem to, you know, the cover is not that heavy and, and that sheet metal doesn't look that heavy. I'll, I'll probably replace that belt and, and undo that board and see what's underneath it, but it looks remarkably well. This looks like a switch here with um, some filtering or whatnot, but it's certainly a, a massive switch for, for mains. That's about all and uh, that I can tell you for now, if I know anything interesting further, I'll let you know, but, but I'm really a fan of Shanling. Uh, at, um, like I used to tell you that uh, Arkham knows something about CD transport for their drives, or the, the modern ones, the, the um, DCS, um, uh, uh, the one with DCS DAX, ring DAX, they, they, they use half the power of others and read this twice as fast. Well, this one uses less power, maybe three quarters, maybe two thirds of the power of um, other CD players and yet it reads very well. So obviously there is some art to it. I think it uses uh, KHM 280 uh, Sony laser, but I have to double check that. Um, but it, it's it's top player, top player. I, I have to take it to my system number one and, and listen to it to see if um, 
if I won't be a keeper for just SACDs, which admittedly I don't have many, but, but maybe I'll get some. Okay, well, thank you very much, and um, till next time, let me just show you how it, uh, you see, it jumps to tracks. I mean, SACD players don't do that. Let's go backwards a few tracks. And it's already playing, you know, we can't hear anything, but the counter was going there. So, um, uh, very good stuff. Very good stuff. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.